What's up, everybody? Good afternoon. It is 2 o'clock, 2.07, and it is now time for the newest edition of the Thomas Take Sports Podcast. I'm your host, once again, Ryan Thomas, bringing you another edition. This is the one that most people have been asking my opinion on. This is the one that most people have been waiting for my prediction on, uh, and that is the AFC and NFC Championship Games. I first want to start off by saying today is January 20th, 2017. Today is Inauguration Day. The 45th President of the United States is now Donald Trump. It is set in stone. Um, Barack Obama is no longer the President of the United States. Now Donald Trump will be for the next four years, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully if things go well, he will, at la- he will last at least four years. Um, it's well known that I am a huge uh, Trump supporter. I have been since day one, um, and I won't go into the reasons why. Uh, I felt like we needed a change as a country from the status quo of the Clintons and the Bushes and the Obamas of the world, um, and uh, I was not going to vote for Hillary Clinton. That's that's as easy as I can put it. Um, it's as safe a bet as I can put it. I, I was never going to vote for Hillary Clinton. I was going to either vote for Donald Trump or if he didn't make it to the final uh to the to the election day, um, I was going to vote for whoever was running against Hillary Clinton. So I'm very happy to say that Donald Trump was the guy that made it all the way to the end and won the election. And I'm very excited for the future of this country. Although you know, the majority of what I see is such uh, divided statements by uh, people within my generation, I think that Trump will prove to be somebody that will do a lot more to help people of my generation rather than hurt uh, people of my generation or divide people of my generation. So God bless America. Very excited for the future of this country. I hope to see respect given to those that deserve it, those in the armed forces, uh, whether that be the uh, Marines, you know, the military armed forces or uh, police officers, firemen. I just hope to see more respect for people that deserve it, that, that protect uh, the citizens of this country. So, um, with that being said, I wanted to start off by saying that. And with that being said, let's get to the subject matter of today's show, which is, as I said earlier, the predictions for the AFC and NFC championship games. Uh, we have the AFC championship featuring the New England Patriots once again for the sixth straight season. Um, they will be in an AFC championship game this time. They have home field advantage. It will be in Foxborough at Gillette Stadium, which will provide the Patriots with an advantage versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is the second time that Tom Brady and Big Ben have played each other in the playoffs, which is very hard to believe. You would have thought by now that they would have played each other in the playoffs quite a few times, but that is not the case. There was the Facebook Live video that was done by Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown that I feel has caused a huge distraction to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Whether they like it or not, uh, that has become a huge distraction. Constantly they're being asked questions about it by the media, even after the fact that Antonio Brown uh, squashed the uh, talk about the events that took place in the locker room. He, he apologized, he owned up to his mistake, and they are still badgering him with questions about it, which I you know, somewhat expected from the NFL media. Um, but I, I do think that will prove to be a huge, a huge distraction. I have faith in the Patriots' defense against the Steelers. More so, I have faith in the Patriots' offense against the Steelers' defense. I'm going to go with New England in this one. I'm willing to go out on a limb and say that this game will be a lot closer than what people think. Uh, But I do see the Patriots winning this game, going to the Super Bowl once again. To all the uh, Buffalo Bills fans that listen to this, I'm a Buffalo Bills fan as well, born and raised in Buffalo. It does not uh, sound that great knowing that I'm predicting the Patriots to go back to the Super Bowl. Obviously, I don't want to see that happen, but I am going to go on a limb and predict what I think will happen and I think that will be what happens in this game. I see the Patriots winning it 28-24. to uh, The Garrett Blunt being more of a factor than what most people think he will be. Um, I think the Patriots do have some issues, though, to, to cause this game to be a close game. I think the reason why is because 
really Julian Edelman is the only guy out there for Tom Brady to throw to. He's got Julian Edelman, Deion Lewis, Martellus Bennett has been hit or miss since the injury to Rob Gronkowski. And I, th I think the Patriots will rely on LeGarrette Blunt. use LeGarrette Blunt more heavily in this game than in games past, where they will wear the Pittsburgh defense out and limit the opportunities for Big Ben, uh, Le uh, Le'Veon Bell, and Antonio Brown. Really the guy that the Patriots defense has to zero in on is Le'Veon Bell. My money says he's one of the top two, top three best running backs in this league. So I'm going to go on a limb and say that the Patriots will win this one, but they will win it very close, 28-24. to 24. On the other side, you have the NFC Championship game featuring the Atlanta Falcons and the Green Bay Packers. A thrilling victory for the Green Bay Packers this past week when they played Dallas, a game which 48 million people watched that game. It was the highest-rated NFL divisional playoff game in 20 years. And now we have the pa the Packers moving forward, taking on the Falcons in the Georgia Dome, which this could be the last game that's played in the Georgia Dome if the Packers do beat the Falcons. But I do not see that happening. And I'm going to go into more reasons why in this game, I think this is the better game of the two. I think both of these games are great, but out of the two games that I would prefer to watch, I would prefer to watch the Green Bay Packers and the Atlanta Falcons game more so than the AFC Championship game. I think these teams match up really well with each other. Um, I think these are the two best teams in the NFC, um, and they both belong here. But the reason why I see the Packers losing this game is for reason number one. Really, Aaron Rodgers has been the main factor in the Packers' success, obviously, this season. Green Bay's defense is very weak. Atlanta's offense is not. Atlanta's offense has improved quite immensely over the last few weeks of the season and dating back to uh, last week where they played Seattle. They looked very good against Seattle's offense. I think Atlanta plays well on defense, plays well enough to keep Aaron Rodgers at bay. I think Atlanta's offense plays very well against Green Bay's poorest defense. I think Green Bay has the worst defense of any of the playoff teams heading into the wild card round. I thought Green Bay had the worst defense in the playoffs out of any team, including Miami. I think Green Bay's defense is that bad. Uh, case in point, they had a 28-13 lead over Dallas. Dallas came back, tied the game. Okay, I can go case by case, dating back to the regular season. Several blown leads. This team started off 4-6. and six. It was Aaron Rodgers that led this comeback. It was Randall Cobb that led this comeback. It was Jordy Nelson who led this comeback. Devontae Adams who turned short gains into big gains. Um, these are key contributing factors to why the Packers are where they are with virtually no running game. Ty Montgomery has stepped up massively in the absence of Eddie Lacy. One would argue that he's been even better than Eddie Lacy was last season and this season as well. Um, but Jordy Nelson is out. Devontae Adams is banged up. Um, they can't rely on Ty Montgomery forever. I think Atlanta will neutralize Ty Montgomery in this game. I think this is a defensive matchup where Atlanta is finally the team that will be able to neutralize the other weapons around Aaron Rodgers, even if they play healthy, even if they end up playing. And the fact is, if they're not playing healthy, that also will dictate how well they do as well. Third and 20, Aaron Rodgers drops back. He finds Jared Cook wide open on the uh, left sideline. Jared Cook comes up with a, a miraculous catch. They're going to need plays like that in order to beat Atlanta, just like they needed plays like that in order to beat Dallas. I'm going with Atlanta. I'm going with Atlanta versus New England in the Super Bowl this year. Um, I thought it would be Seattle and New England once again, and it probably would have been, but Atlanta beat Seattle in Atlanta Taking advantage of the home field advantage, uh, I think they will do that again versus Green Bay. My Super Bowl pick for who I see winning the Super Bowl is the New England Patriots. Um, but we will get to that on the next show if this does end up happening. But if that were to happen, if it were to be the, the Falcons and the Patriots, 
I would assume that it would be the Patriots winning that game just based on the fact they have Tom Brady. They have a great coach. They have an offense that knows how to pick apart virtually any defense, including defenses like the Seattle Seahawks a few years back when they won the Super Bowl, although they lost because although they won because of their defense, Tom Brady played a masterful game in that last Super Bowl, and I don't think Atlanta's defense is as good as Seattle's from a couple years ago. And even then, the Patriots were able to beat them. Tom Brady has also won three Super Bowls without Rob Gronkowski. Martellus Bennett is going to have to step up. Julian Edelman is going to have to step up. One X factor for the Patriots is Michael Floyd. He has shown up in games since the Patriots acquired him a few weeks back. That was a big move by the Patriots to add a guy like that, give that guy a second chance. And I think that that move will make a difference ultimately in the Super Bowl if the Patriots are there. But I'm going to go with Atlanta and New England representing the AFC, or representing the NFC, I'm sorry, Atlanta representing the NFC and New England representing the AFC. I'm really hopeful that the Patriots do lose, but I don't see it happening. I'm not going to pick against the Patriots at home. I'm not going to pick against Atlanta at home with a ravaged Green Bay team. Really, if Green Bay would have beat Atlanta, I don't see them winning the Super Bowl anyway. So the overtime game was a victory in, in that of itself. The Steelers can hang their hat on the fact that they knocked out a 13-3 and team, I believe, um, out of the playoffs in a one-and-done fashion. Um, that's a lot. You know, and that was a close game. It was a game that they should have actually won a lot easier than they did. They shouldn't have had to rely on Mason Crosby kicking those two field goals. They shouldn't have had to rely on Aaron Rodgers throwing that one pass to Jared Cook. They should not have had to do that. Um, and I think it's going to show. I, I really do. I think once they play Atlanta... It's going to be a different game. Matt Ryan is actually on a historic pace this season. His season has completely flown under the radar. Julio Jones is a huge X factor. Then you have the underrated run game. Devontae Freeman, Tevin Coleman, they have done very well. No one is talking about these guys. And the team that is talked about the least ends up showing up in its biggest moments. That's Historically, that's what happens. You go back to 2007... With the New York Giants, you go back to 2011 with the New York Giants, you go back to the New York Jets when they had Rex Ryan, nobody thought that the Jets would be in the AFC Championship, let alone the AFC Championship two years in a row. Go back to the Buffalo Bills of the 1990s, they were knocking on the door, but nobody thought they'd go to four straight. So, <clears throat> that being said, that was the Thomas take. I got Atlanta over Green Bay. I got New England over over uh, Pittsburgh. Both teams with the home field advantage moving on into the Super Bowl at Houston where Lady Gaga will be the halftime performer. Should be a good one. If that does not happen, though, if my prediction is not right, I will own up to it. But that's just the way I see it for now. Um... And if it doesn't go that way, I will give you guys a Super Bowl prediction matchup uh, next week when I come back from my Carnival Cruise. So the Thomas Take will be hibernating for a little while on a boat in Punta Canta and the Cayman Islands. So stay tuned for the return. Take care and thanks for tuning in.